Hey YouTube, this is Sergeant Blockbuster, and today I'm. This is amazing. This is truly amazing. You guys, I'm sure, have heard of the popular game series Five Nights at Freddy's 1, 2, and 3. I think I might have a theory that could solve all the mysteries in the game. And I have it all written down on paper. I have like 15 pages of facts, and I'm about to share them with you all. If you know anyone who um, is curious about the mysteries of Five Nights at Freddy's, go ahead and tell them. I might show some pictures of some of the pages of drawings, but I'm going to put the actual pictures up on the screen. This is insane. Five Nights at Freddy's has been a mystery for quite a while. I've been watching over the series, and as you all know, Five Nights at Freddy's 3 was posted... The game was released about a week ago, I'd say. And that is when I started researching, hardcore researching, trying to figure out what's all this about. And I think this might be the answer. Okay, I'm going to read you my notes. These are all on notes. I hope I get everything that I've thought of on these notes. Five Nights at Freddy's 1. First minigame. The first murder occurs. As you can see on screen, there's going to be a picture of the minigame. Freddy is giving cupcakes to children, and Purple Guy, that's what they all call him, Purple Guy jumps out of a car, kills the children, and leaves. This is very, very crazy. Purple Guy kills first child, right? At the first restaurant. I believe the phone guy says that the first restaurant might be Fred Bear's Family Diner. So that's the first restaurant. Another minigame, it shows Purple Man... And Foxy runs by him, assuming that Purple Man likes Foxy. And then Foxy tries to go into a room to save the children, but they're dead. Purple Guy uses the Golden Freddy suit to kill five children at their second restaurant. Now, you're going to have to remember all this. This is crazy. There's a whole ton of stuff to go over. First of all, who is Purple Guy? People have been asking this a long time. But I have a lot of facts that lead to one option. Purple guy is phone guy. Phone guy is what they call the guy that calls you the night guard on the phone and explains what to do. The phone guy says he likes Foxy best, just like the purple man in the picture likes Foxy. But he doesn't like the puppet because it is always thinking. Yeah, I told you wouldn't have any problems. Did uh, Foxy ever appear in the hallway? Probably not. I was just curious. Like I said... He was always my favorite. I'll be honest, I never liked that puppet thing. It's always thinking, and it can go anywhere. Now, how could he know the puppet is thinking? The puppet is not a robot. The only the only way he knows puppet guys, the puppet kid, the ghost puppet kid, the marionette or whatever, is always thinking because he knows that it's possessed. It's not a robot, it's a puppet. How, and he says it could go wherever he wants because he's not a robot. The robots are programmed not to go in the safe room. He, the puppet can go wherever he wants because he is not a robot. He is a ghost in a puppet. Another minigame. It shows Purple Man with a phone in his hand approaching Freddy. And he is wearing a security guard badge. That is proof that Phone Man... Because there's a phone here. That's Phone Man, and he has a security guard badge because he says he used to be a security guard. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. That's what Phone Man is. He's a security guard. But not only security guard, he's Purple Man. There will be more facts later to show that I am correct. Purple guy is seen wearing a security badge, as you can see. He's holding a phone. That's why he always talks about working people as employees and high-ranking people as they. He was a security guard. And a lot of people have been thinking Golden Freddy might be a robot or a ghost or whatever. But Golden F Freddy is a ghost. He's not a robot. You cannot change his AI in nightmare mode or whatever or custom mode. And he appears through walls and everything. You have the door shut in your room, he will appear at certain times. So, Golden Freddy is a ghost. He's not a hallucination, he is a ghost. Another minigame, it shows the marionette child. That's the kid, the marionette. 
or I think is Marinette, I'm just going to call him Puppet, the Puppet guy is the first child. That's his ghost. He is giving the other children that purple guy has killed life. As you can see, it says give life. And as you notice, when he touches them, their um, robot heads pop up. So he is giving the children a second chance. He wants, you see, this whole thing is about revenge. Those ghosts, they want revenge on the purple guy. Now, as you can see, split second before Golden Freddy jumps out at you, you can see the fifth child in the center of the room. Okay, Puppet Master, I think his name's Puppet Master, I don't know, I, I, it's, I'm gonna just call him Puppet Guy or whatever. He resembles the first kid. As you can see, there's tears on the first kid's face. The Puppet Guy has also tears. You see the resemblance? Now, the puppet kid wants to kill Purple Guy. And is using five the five other victims of Purple Guy to help him. Now, you take over Purple Guy's shift. The Purple Guy was a security guard. And the security guard was the phone guy. So you see, they're all the same person. This is why the robot suits possessed by children's ghosts are trying to kill you in the game. The ghosts think you're a purple guy because you're wearing the same uniform as him. Because you're the new night guard. They, the, the, the children don't know. I mean, they don't know that you're not purple guy. You're wearing a badge just like purple guy wears. And you're wearing a like, security guard suit, I assume. So they think you're purple guy. That's why they attack you. Now, when you die in Final Fantasy Phrase 1, you're stuffed into a F Freddy suit. That is important. Remember that. I'm going to bring it back to that later. Okay. The phone guy, a.k.a. purple guy, says there was a yellow suit in the back. Someone used it. And now none of the robots are acting right or something like that. Oh, oh uh, what on earth are you doing there? Didn't you get the memo? Uh, the place is closed down. At least for a while. Uh, what are you See, the back room is where Purple Guy lured the children and killed them. Because that's the safe room. The safe room is, as the cam the phone guy says, the safe room is always off camera and the animatronics can't enter. That's also extremely important to the story. You guys might want to take a note of that. That's why Purple Guy did it there. He knew about the room. He had access to the room. See what I'm saying? Okay, now there's news clippings on the wall that change every day because I guess they post the news. The first time it's it's there, I believe it's the first time, it says, Now five children have went missing after being lured back by, by back in like the safe room or whatever by a guy in a mascot costume. The guy in the mascot costume was purple guy wearing a Golden Freddy suit. Next to clipping says, I think on, on a later day, it says, Freddy's is being investigated when the robots started to smell and blood and like maybe, I don't know, mucus or pus or whatever oozed from the robots, eyes and mouths, and one parent said it's like a reanimated corpse. That's why the children's bodies weren't found. Purple guys shoved them in robotic suits. You can actually wear the suits, as you, I'll talk about later on why you can do that. At the last night, the purple guy aka phone guy says the place is closing down and then he says something like i don't know he, he like has to check on something or go in the back for something and then he dies oh, oh hey hey wow well, day four i knew you could do it uh hey listen uh, i may not be around to send you a message tomorrow it's it's been a bad night here for me um i'm kind of glad that i recorded my messages for you <clears throat> Uh, when I did, uh, hey, do me a favor. Uh, maybe sometime uh, you could check inside those suits uh, in the back room. Uh, I'm going to try to hold out until someone checks. Maybe it won't be so bad. Yeah, I, I, I always wondered what was in all those empty heads back there. You know. I don't know. He's dead. This is huge. You need to remember this. He dies at the end of Five Nights at Freddy's 1. 
Okay, now we're on Five Nights at Freddy's 2. First of all, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 takes place before Five Nights at Freddy's 1 because Phone Guy, aka Purple Guy, is still alive. This is before, I believe, he takes your shift or takes a day shift or something. Or it might be during, I don't know. Let me see. The first child also appears in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, I did, if I didn't mention. He's on a poster. He appears on a poster, so you see this all is all tying in. The robotics might not be possessed, because I don't know. If, I don't think Purple Guy killed them yet. The five, the other five. I think there's just first one dead guy. I mean, dead child. I think the puppet tells them what to do. Tells the robots, because I believe at the end of one night, you um, your camera sees what Freddy sees inside Freddy's head, looking out. And you see the puppet master, whatever, basically, pro what I think he's programming Freddy or telling him what to do. Okay? Phone guy works the day shift before or during this game and takes your shift after the game. Well, when the place eventually opens again, I'll probably take a night shift myself. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. What a He says that. I'll probably play the audio. Okay, the timeline so far is the first restaurant, there's the first murder. The second restaurant, there's five more murders. The third restaurant is Five Nights at Freddy's 2. The fourth restaurant is Five Nights at Freddy's 1. And the fifth building is a horror park based on it. And I'm going to get to that later. That's Five Nights at Freddy's 3. At the end of Five Nights at Freddy's 2, it says you get like 100 bucks or something like that. And everyone's like, that's weird. That's like below one minimum wage. How could he do this to us? And he'll pay us 100 bucks? Because it probably happened around the 1980s. And that was minimum wage back then. Like for a week, you get a paid like 100 bucks or whatever. That was minimum wage. So at the time period of the game, it's correct payment. All right. Purple guy uses Golden Freddy suit to kill people. That's what he did. That is why you see him slumped on the ground. When Golden Freddy appears, he's slumped on the ground. He's not a robot. He is a suit worn by Purple Guy. And he might be the ghost of one of the children. All right? But he is not a robot. That's a common misconception. He is a suit. That's why he's always slumped on the ground. That's why he doesn't have any eyes. You see what I'm saying, guys? This is starting to make sense. Also, the whole series, you can hear the robot saying... It's me. That's the children's ghost trying to tell everyone that they're the children stuffed inside those suits. Which is kind of sad. But in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, this is before, I believe, the five murders happened. It might have happened, but I don't think so. See, the, some of the robots' laughs are children's laughs. Except they slowed the audio down. So if you speed the audio back up, they're children's laughs. Chica and Bonnie also sound like ghosts or dying people at one point when they both appear on one screen. And also, here's... Okay, we're back to, um, I think, Finance Phrase 1. You know how when you die, you get stuffed in a fra Freddy Frazbear suit? When you... You see, the reason why that is is because the children want to stuff the original security guard, a.k.a. Purple Man... In a suit, just like he stuffed the children into suits to hide their bodies. The children want revenge. They want to see Purple Guy stuffed into a suit himself, and and that's their whole revenge plot. This is very important. Now we're on Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Okay, the, re the restaurant from Game 1 is now closed. Five Nights at Freddy's 3 happens after Five Nights at Freddy's 1. 30 years later, there are... They are building a horror theme park based on Finance Freddy's. Remember the timeline I showed you? The first rest the first game one takes place in like restaurant four or something like that. And Five Nights at Freddy's three takes place directly after Phone Guy dies. Phone Guy dies at the end of Finance of Freddy's one. And Phone Guy, I believe, is Purple Guy. So next this is very crucial, this point I just made. First, they find a paper doll, they say. But that might be the puppet kid, but I highly doubt it. 
It's a possibility, though. Then they find Springtrap. Remember that name? He looks like Bonnie to me, but they named him Springtrap for a very crucial reason. He, they found him hidden in the back room or something. Then they find tapes of the old phone guy telling people how to use the suit's springs and lock them into place so they can wear the suits. And it pushes the um, ex, in, ex, endoskeletons or like the metal inside the suits. It pushes them so then you could get inside the suits and wear them kind of like an Iron Man suit. And he says that they that there's spring locks and stuff that you gotta be careful because they might squish you. And he says, um, he's he says later on uh, not to use the suits anymore. That's also important. Okay. In the first game, he said they attack the security guard because of face recognition. But I highly doubt they had face recognition back in the, in like the 80s or whenever that took place. Think about it. I think he's lying because he's purple guy. He does. He's trying to make it so no one finds out. He's like maybe the head security guard, but he was a security guard. He was probably the head security guard. At the end of each night, there's a mini game. All right, and every time you finish the night, there's a purple Freddy, and he says, "Follow me." The reason why he's purple. Is because that's Golden Freddy, but the because you're seeing it from a robot's point of view, that's why it's like 8-bit or whatever. They know it's Purple Guy, so on their screens, like in their brains, it registers as purple. But that's Golden Freddy, or it could be Shadow Freddy, but I think it's Golden Freddy. Okay, you. Every time you, this is like after the game closed, just like at the end of the first game, they said closed. This is right after closed. So, he might not have died on the phone call, Purple Guy. He might have been trapped in the restaurant as they closed it. I don't know, but anything's a possibility. Okay, next. He, the guy goes into the safe room, and the robots have an error because they're not allowed to go in there. That's the programming. They can't go in there. That's how we know it's not a robot. It's Purple Man wearing a suit. He's able to go in the back room for employees, but the robots can't. Then, every time, Purple Guy comes, takes off the suit, runs down, and, and destroys the robots. Alright? Now, people say that the other robots that attack you during the game and you live from them, they say they're hallucinations. That might not be true. I believe that they are the ghosts of the children. Doesn't that make a lot more sense? Because why would a vent shutting off cause you to hallucinate? I think they're ghosts. The end mini game. You play as the first killed child. You can enter the back room because you're not a robot. You're not in your robot suit. You're in ghost form. The final battle happens between Purple Guy and the ghost children. Purple Guy is stuck in the back room. And... He killed the other robots, but now he's freaking the heck out because he sees the, the ghosts of the children he killed. Purple Guy gets into Spring Trap and laughs, but then Spring Trap Spring Trap him inside and crushes him to death. And that's where they got the name Spring Trap. The ghosts trapped him in the costume and crushed him. They caused the springs to malfunction and squish him to death. They finally got their revenge. They shoved that guy and they got that guy to go in his suit and it caused him to get crushed to death. Purple guy then falls down and the ghost children disappear. That is when 30 years pass and they find that robot and they bring him. Purple guy, aka the head security guard of like your your character, aka phone guy, is in spring trap. Alright? That's why you never d actually die. All right, you never die. You only lose. When Springtrack comes at you, he doesn't spaz out. He doesn't yell at you like raw, like you know how they do. They don't he doesn't open his mouth cuz there's a corpse inside him. And you don't die. You don't get stuffed in a suit. You just simply lose. You got to restart. That's important cuz the purple guy does not want to kill you. The purple guy wants to kill children. All right? That's why you use Balloon Boy's laugh from Five Nights at Freddy's 2 
to lure him into other rooms because he thinks there's a child in there that he can kill. See? He, so, either that or it's a robot that isn't in control. I mean, that's not being controlled by any spirits. But I think there's a possibility Purple Guy is controlling Springtrap, his, his soul. Next. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe that he's in there, three rare pictures, or maybe two, pop up when some people join or end the game. And Springtrap opens his mouth once. Here's pictures on screen. You can clearly see those are human teeth inside his mouth. And from this next angle, you can clearly see that looks like a corpse. That looks like a head of someone. That is Purple Guy. He is still in the suit. The reason why you can't see his eyes through the holes is because you see the metal? It got squished through his skull. You see, it crushed him, and then it looks like a normal robot from the outside, but he's squished inside there. All right? That's why, and this is 30 years later. That's why he's not all gooey and stuff. He's like mummified practically. All right? He's been in the suit for 30 years ever since the end of Five Nights at Freddy's 1. After you finish the game, a picture pops up of glowing heads on the ground from the robots that Purple Guy destroyed. And they're glowing and it says bad ending. People are freaking out. They're like, what the heck? I thought that was the end of the game. I thought, I thought that was a good ending or whatever. But there's a real ending. That's not the ending. There's secret mini games. A ton of mini games and secret codes you have to enter and find in the mini games to enter more mini games in the game. And there's just so much stuff you have to do. It is insane. I'm probably not going to show it all. You can look it up on YouTube if you want to see it. And the games are to free the children's souls from their trap in the robots. Alright? Then, the at the end of the game, when you do it correctly, the same picture box pops up except the heads aren't glowing. And it doesn't say the good ending, but it says the end. If you look on scottgames.com, that's the official creator's website. There is a picture of Freddy's hat on an empty stage and spotlights on it. That's it, man. That's proof that the series is over. And if it isn't over, I really think it should be. Alright? Because this is the ultimate ending, man. The ultimate ending. The souls are, of the children are free. Purple Man's corpse, along with Springtrap, was probably destroyed in the fire that burnt down the amusement park. And I don't think it should continue. Even if it does, I don't think it should. Because what better ending could there be to such a series of horror games? And that's the ultimate alternative ending where it says the end. That's the way Five Nights at Freddy's ends. And I believe I got all the facts in there. I believe I got all my, all my opinions in there. I'm pretty sure that's all. I might make an update video if I've missed anything, but I don't think so. My god, this book is like, I wrote 20 pages of facts here that I, that I did some hardcore research and just everything clicks. As you can see, all the mysteries that I know of, of Five Nights at Freddy's has been answered with this one theory. But it's just a theory, you know? But I honestly think that this might be it. This might be the end of Five Nights at Freddy's and I might have possibly come up with the answers to all the mysteries that it's held because if you think about it it does like a halcophone guy be purple guy but i've stated quite a few interesting facts that might point towards him being phone guy all right and everything that i've showed has had facts to back it up but t write a comment tell me what you think about this theory do you think it's do you think it's the one theory that solved it all, or do you think there's still more out there? There might be. There probably is. But this is a good chunk. I try my best, guys, and I think this is a very good way of saying how Finest Phrase happened. Anyways, leave a comment if you think you might have anything to add about this video. L and tell your friends that are interested in Finest Freddy's mysteries and solving it, because... 
I think I might have helped out those um people out there that are researching how to finish or how to how um finance phrase happened. I really hope I've been some help to some of you people who are wondering about finance of Freddy's. Anyways, this is just my theory. Go out and do research for yourself if you want to. Go ahead. This is just a video of what I think might be what Finites of Freddy's, the whole story is, with no mysteries left. There might be more mysteries. I have no clue. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video, first Five Nights of Freddy's video, about the whole series and possibly figuring it out. Anyways, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.